with the environmental department and the culture department is has, is bringing back to life something that's needed. And, and we're willing to share that with the other tribal members. And yeah, I think it's a good thing. Baby plants and taking care of small youth. I'm saying yeah. yeah. the more yeah. appropriate interaction and uh, commitment uh -huh. um, make them grow more, right? right. Yeah. Yes. Too much, exactly. too much, yeah. too much uh, commitment destroy them. Right? Yeah. 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 Another way I like to think about um, our food as medicine is remembering that it should look like food, <laughs> it should seem like food. If it's coming to you in a plastic package surrounded by more plastic or another box and it, you read the ingredients and you can't tell from the ingredients how it was made um, and you don't, can't even understand the words in the ingredients, then that's not, that's not going to be a food that's designed for your body. Food that was designed from our body comes straight from the earth. We, we are a part of this earth and the earth feeds us. And so the closer the food is to the earth, the, the closer it is to being the nutrients that we need. So the first plant we'll see, which many of you are probably familiar with, is this plant right here. Now this is poison oak. It's uh, obviously very common around here. Most people learn it through experience. But in case you want to be able to better identify it, um, one of the main things is that you see these groups of three leaves. Now, of course, I'm not going to touch it because it would give me quite a rash. My recycle team, the uh, three team members that are on the line and um, my supervisor, seven days a week, they're out there and they actually pick through all of our, our uh, waste stream. Um, so all of the casino uh, waste goes into the, the back recycle area and we have people just ripping up bags and doing site separation here on this property. 